In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate the concept of the Java toString method. So basically, if you want to represent any object as a string, the toString method comes into existence. Okay, so the toString method would return the string representation of that object. So for example, if you print any object, Java compiler internally invokes the toString method on the object and overriding the toString method would return the desired output. And that can be the state of the object, etc. and depends on your own implementation. So the main advantage of Java's toString method is that by overriding the toString method of the object class, we can return values of the object. So we don't need to write much code. That's the main advantage of using the Two string method. So next, let me go ahead and demonstrate this so it'll become easier for you to understand once you apply this technique. So let's go ahead and open up our Java Eclipse editor. So once I'm in the Eclipse editor, I'm going to go ahead and simply create a new class. So right click on Java Introduction, choose New, and then click on Class. I'm going to call this my two string demo and click finish and this creates the class called my two string demo so for instance let me go to the public here for now just a simple class is fine next I'm going to define int let's say we're creating this Java program that contains student name role number and city and so on okay so just some sample or random data here. So int roll number, then I'm going to specify the string, call name, and then also the string type would be for city. And next, just do student and int roll number, string name, comma, and then of course our string city. And open our curly braces specify this dot roll number because I'm using the same name I recall from earlier lessons the concept of using this when we work with setters and getters so this dot roll number equals roll number and also the same is true for the name equals name and this dot city equals city semicolon and of course we close the parentheses and let me go ahead and fix up the student here it's actually going to be the same as our class name so it'll be my to string demo much better great next I'm going to create the public string and here is where the to string method would come in which is simply going to override the two string method, right? So I'm going to say public string and then use the two string method. Open the curly braces and then return roll number plus our name and then of course the city as well, right? So we need all these three things semicolon. And then we close the parentheses. And next, I'm going to go ahead and use our public static void main and use string and the command line argument with a set of brackets. And then open the curly braces. Here, I'm going to specify my string, or rather, my two string demo. Call it, let's say, s1 equals new my to string demo and give some parameters so let's say 101 would be the roll number and the name would be john and the city is chicago and of course this is also a string so it has to be in quotations with a semicolon and once again my to string demo call it s2 and this equals new my two string demo once again 
And for this next person, the rule number will be 102, comma, name is Chris, and the city is Austin. Great. So we implemented the two string method here. Next, just do a simple printout. So system.out.print in, and I'm going to print the S1. And again, here the Java compiler writes the S1.toString method, basically. And I'm going to do the same thing with the system.out.print in for S2. Great. Just fix up our syntax here so Java recognizes that we're using the print in. Same thing for the S2. Perfect. So if I were to run this program now, let me go ahead and run this so we can see the output. Save and launch dialog box appears. Simply click OK. And Java outputs the result as 101 John Chicago and then 102 Chris Austin, which is exactly what we wanted. So the public two string method is here overriding the two string method itself. So once again, this method is useful and is used when we need a string representation of an object. And of course, we also defined this within this object class. We can also use the two string method within our print, right? So instead of using these variables that I specified, there are a couple other ways you can also write this code. So it depends, let me get rid of this. So it depends on your own implementation of the code itself. Let me in fact demonstrate another example. It'll further clarify this particular concept and how to use the two string method. So let me go ahead and simply create a new class. So scroll up, right click on Java introduction, choose new and class. And this time I'm gonna call this as let's say point coordinates a little different example it's always good to do multiple examples because it reiterates and reinforces our learning so i'm going to call it point coordinates i'm going to create the point coordinates class and of course our public class as well to demonstrate the two string demo so click finish and this creates our public class i'm going to call it just the class remove the public for now and here I'm going to specify let's say the private int and recall using the private keyword from our earlier lessons that we can only use it within this particular class so private int x comma and y these are our two coordinates that I'm looking to work with and next I'm going to use the public point coordinates and int would be x and then integer for y open our curly braces and of course specify this dot x equals x and this dot y would equal y close the curly braces next do the public int we use the get x method open the curly braces and then return the value for x and return simply x semicolon and next do the same for y so public int i'm going to say get y open the curly braces and of course repeat the return y now once that's done next i'm going to specify the two string method so let's go ahead and do public class and specify two string demo so now here i have again public class two string demo open the curly braces and of course use my public static void main and then string with command line arguments open the curly braces so this is where i'm going to specify or i'm going to overwrite right so i'm going to say the point coordinates call it point would equal the new point coordinates and of course the parameter values would be let's say 10 and then 10 semicolon and what this would do is simply going to use the default object 
dot to string method. Okay, so let me in fact write this comment here so we remember. So using the default object dot to string method, and let's do the system dot out dot print in. And within the printin, I'm going to specify the object to string method and concatenate this with point, right? So I'm going to say plus point. Let's fix the spelling here. So instead of method, it should spell correctly. Perfect. Now, here we are going to implicitly call the two string method on object as part of the string concatenation. So let me go ahead and in fact write this so it's easier. So we're going to call implicitly call the two string on object as part of string. And this is so that you remember, right? Concatenation. Perfect. And of course, I'm going to do the final printout again. System dot out dot print in or before I even do the system dot out let me go ahead and in fact call the implicit value so string s equals point and concatenate this with our let's say testing and put a semicolon and now I'm going to use the system dot out dot print in and simply use the variable call s put a semicolon Perfect. Let's fix up the syntax here quickly for the print in. So here, for example, we have the two string demo as public class, and we're also specifying the public keywords as well. And that's why Java is saying, well, wait a minute here. Either you rename in the file or rename in workspace, because otherwise it's trying to link all the references for the local rename, and this would not change references in other files. So since we have our class point coordinates defined already up above, we don't really need the public class here. Or we can remove the public static void, this line. So I'm going to go ahead and simply get rid of this and make sure we have the curly braces also removed to correct our syntax. So now our class point coordinates is complete. And of course, our public static void main string and our two string method is contained here, which is going to override with these values. So if I run this now, for example, let's take a look at the output. And that's important. So save and launch dialog box appears. Let's click OK. And notice it prints object to string method point coordinates at the following location. And the second print statement prints point coordinates at the following location with testing. And that's exactly what we're telling Java to print. The points where the coordinate 10 and 10 for X and Y respectively appears. And then for our second print statement, we're simply specifying to print the variable S with the testing. Notice in both instances, the point coordinates stay the same. The values are the same in both instances. So in this way, we can use the two string method when we need a string representation of an object. So practice a couple of times with different examples. And let's move to the next lesson.